Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video in Red Dead Redemption Online. Today we want to check out the Missouri Fox Strada and see if it's actually worth See if it's worth buying in the online version of the game of course. So overall, it's a pretty cool horse, probably one of the, the best horses in single player back when it released. Uh, same with the Turkmen and the Arabian. All three of them were absolutely amazing and I'm also covering all three of them um, with right now the Missouri Fox Strada. So we're gonna check them out. And the first coat we're going to check out is of course this one, this is a Silver Daple Pinto. This horse is, like I said, probably one of the best horses in the single player, if not the best horse but overall, a really cool horse in general. So as you can see here we are with the stats. So we do have a 9 stamina and 8 health and then of course the standout things that is the 10 speed and 8 acceleration with the stirrups and the saddles of course that's why you get the 8 health or the 8 acceleration and 10 stem speed otherwise you do get if you don't take the stirrups and saddles 7 speed and 6 acceleration so overall pretty good horses are pretty good stats to be honest if not anything else but the stats are absolutely looking good you know we got good health we got good speed we got good stamina we got good acceleration we got everything is everything is above average above good it's just a stand-up good horse um, and it's definitely a horse that you want to check out too if you want to buy a new horse like I said so we're gonna check him out we're gonna see do some couple tests with him see how it performs in different kind of scenarios and then at the end of the video of course I will give you my opinion on whether or not to buy this horse um, for the online version of course so keep in mind guys this is only for online and not single player so here we are with the alligators of course the same old place we always test them at and as you can see the first run we did it went pretty well you know we didn't have any trouble we didn't do anything crazy or something like that i was able to keep control over him pretty easily without him um trying to steer or trying to ride somewhere else where i want him to ride so that's a good thing you know like i said it doesn't buck me off or doesn't do anything crazy and i was kind of expecting a little bit better sometimes right now you can see here it stops and then he actually bucked me off which was surprising because I didn't try it that slow or I didn't take that corner that slow um, which was surprising of course but keep in mind this is not a war horse compared to the Turkmen but overall I do think he did a pretty good job on the alligator test um, we were able to ride over some alligators and control pretty easy as you can see here I was able to steer away from the tree I was able to uh, go around the tree pretty easy so nothing much else, he didn't buck me off or anything like that, um, he only bucked me off once as you probably saw in the video, and other than that he did a pretty good job. So here we do have some wolves, which is um, a thing I didn't have in the other videos, I did find some wolves, and then of course we do the exact same thing here, you can see they following me, you know, the wolves are pretty, um, they're, they're aggressive and that's a big factor in some horses that they just buck you off or, or kick you off, but sometimes, as you, right now you can see, a weird thing happens where there are only like two or three of them and one of them actually runs away from you and not attacks you which is kind of weird we'll see that later on with the um with the grizzly as well it is the same thing but i do think he did actually very good i was able to keep control of him all the time you know within trees i thought he was gonna back me off here but he didn't do that I just kept him going and as you can see, we're in a, we're in a pretty close forest with those trees next to And um, we were able to keep control, was able to, to stay away from the trees without actually bumping into or riding into a tree um, Which is absolutely amazing And as you can see, I know I'm, I'm trying to, to go to the uh, wolves and trying to find the wolves, trying to ride over some wolves To see how he do, does that or see how he performs when we're actually that close to, our, uh, to a wolf and Right now here you can see we were pretty we were pretty close, we didn't ride that fast and actually end up riding this one over. But overall I think he did the wolf test. Um, very good actually. And here you can see the grizzly bear, which was kinda of weird because he actually ran away from me um, instead of attacking me again. Maybe that's the thing to do with the wolves coming after him as well. But he didn't do anything. He just stood there and was able to um, go away pretty easily. As you can see, I'm riding as well, you know I'm, I'm following him trying to get in front of him trying to trying to lead him to attack me but he didn't do that he just kept on going and eventually got stuck in the tree so i just ended up going closer and closer um trying to get him out of course as you can see how close i am to him and how slow i am as well you know i'm not riding fast i'm just i'm just 
no galloping across. <laughs> so I do think that he did a very good job with the alligators, with the wolves, and then right now with the grizzly bear. So overall, I was kind of expecting a little bit worse. I didn't expect him to be this good. Um, I kind of think the Turkman did a little bit worse in the tests of the animals, but other than that, um, he did a good job. So let's check some more out. So he was shooting, of course. So this is the last shots we're taking and I gotta I gotta say he did an absolutely amazing job with it. He's probably one of the better horses that I've tested right now. Um he kinda went a little crazy when I started shooting a lot of them or a lot of rounds, but that's it. But other than that I'm I'm liking the horse, you know. The only downside of course is when I start shooting a lot of rounds. He acted kinda funny, um, or acted kinda weird. But um, other than that, he did a good job. So now we're actually just shooting while other people are shooting back as well. And you gotta keep in mind, guys, I'm not riding that fast. As you can see, I'm actually going pretty slow. And I'm able to con keep control of him all the time. He doesn't move, he doesn't run away, he doesn't buck me off or anything like that. He just stands there, rides, rides away. And I'm able to keep control of him all the time, uh, as you can see right now. Which is actually very surprising, because he did an absolutely amazing job here. As you can see, you know, I'm, I'm taking them all out one by one. Their aim is kind of bad, to be honest. Um, but overall, I did do... I think he did do a good job of, like, keeping calm and, and following my, my lead or where I wanted to go. Um, and then, of course, we do have one inside. And I cannot ride inside the horse, of course. But I do think, overall, he did a good job on every test. Um, and as you can see right now, I'm just gonna finish the job real quick. And then we do get some experience the money i believe it was but overall i was kind of surprised by the horse you know i did didn't think it was going to do that well the only downside i would say is that when you start shooting a lot of rounds where you're not riding him it just kind of act weird just kind of like act crazy and all that but otherwise other than that he did a good job he did a good job with the alligators he did a good job with the wolves with the grizzly bears and then the last part we were actually just shooting and when people are shooting back at us so overall, I do think this is a horse that, if you like the looks of it, if you were deciding between the Turkmen or the Missouri Fox, I do think that the Missouri Fox is the better horse. Um, 
but like I said, I'm a big fan of Turkmen, so I'm always gonna use the Turkmen above the Missouri Fox Soda. But this is a horse that you wanna buy if you're looking for a new good horse and you don't wanna buy one of the DLC horses. Then definitely go out and check this horse out because it's a good horse. I think you can buy it for around $950, somewhere around there. And I definitely recommend you buying the horse if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't buy it. The only downside is there's only two coats to this horse, so that's kind of a bummer. But other than that, absolutely amazing horse. Definitely worth checking out if you have the money or if you have the stables, of course. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, then definitely like and subscribe. And I hope you see you in my next video. Bye, guys. See you later.